Hello and welcome back to Psychology Demystified. If you're new to this channel, thanks for joining me today. And if you have been watching all the others, thank you so much for coming back time after time and keep on watching. Today's video is focusing on a silent killer among men, which is depression. Now there is a statistic that states that it's twice as likely for women to suffer depression than men. I believe that the reason why this statistic exists is because unlike women who tend to verbalize, men tend to turn their depression inwards. They tend to not communicate and to try and go it alone because they've always been told, be a man, um, suck it up or um, just handle it or get over it. And because they've gotten these words told to them over and over again, this becomes what they actually do to be able to deal with the depression. And the way they self-medicate to try and deal with it alone is either through excessive sex, excessive TV watching, excessive drinking, excessive eating, something in excess just to be able to handle whatever symptoms of depression that they're experiencing. Depression is something that should never ever be underestimated, ever. Did you know that it's possible for a man to be clinically depressed and have no idea that he is? You see, men are aware when they're having a stomach ache. They're aware when they're having a headache. Men are aware when um, they're having a crappy day at work, when things are not working as they should, when the numbers are not adding up as they should, when they're not meeting obligations and goals that they've set for themselves. When you ask many men how they're feeling or if they've had a bad day, even if you can see it on their face, a lot of them respond with, I'm okay, I'm fine, I don't want to talk about it, everything's good. And the reason why this comes up is because, as I said earlier, there's this programming where men are brought up believing that they're supposed to be tough, they're not supposed to have a bad day, they're not supposed to be able to, they're not supposed to not know what to do, they're supposed to be fixers and problem solvers. I don't know where people decided that this is what their role is. But because they have this ingrained in them, the response is, I don't want to talk about it. I'm okay. I'm fine. But are they really? Are they? The only way to have power to deal with depression is to recognize that you are depressed. Even strong men get depressed. You have to recognize that you have depression. And the only way you can know that is you know what the hidden symptoms are. Anger and irritability could be markers of depression. You are angry at everyone. You're angry at your wife, angry at your kids, angry at your boss, angry at your colleagues, angry at your people who are below you at work. You're just angry. On the road, you're angry at matatus, angry at dogs crossing the road, angry at just angry. Now you might think, nah, I'm not that angry. But have you asked the people who you work with? Have you asked the people who you live with? Have you looked at how your colleagues react to you if you're the boss? Have you looked at how your um, receptionist behaves when you step into the room. That could be a sign that you are... Yeah, just look at their reactions. Now the next symptom is how you perform at work. For a man, everything around them can be crumbling. The house is falling apart, the wife's going nuts, threatening to leave them, the kids are failing, everything is going to the dogs. But when it comes to work performance, this is where men sit up and listen. And they're like, what, my work? Yeah, when work performance starts to be impacted in some way, that could be a sign of hidden depression. When someone is depressed, their motivation is also impacted. So at work, you just might feel unmotivated when you previously felt like you loved everything about your job. Some men start to experience headaches at work all the time, sudden migraines when they didn't have any before, um, their stomach is in knots, um, IBS, so irritable bowel syndrome, could also be a thing. Nothing to be ashamed about, it does happen. Um, yeah, there, what else? A lot of them are somatic symptoms that start to impact you and things start to hurt that you didn't know could hurt. Another thing could be that you're just tired all the time and then Suddenly, at some random time, like 3 a.m., you're up and ready to go with nowhere to go. And that could be annoying. But yeah, sleeplessness also creep, creeps in at some point. 
for some people. Now, what happens with a lot of men is that they'll end up going to see a doctor who will then say, there's nothing wrong with you medically, I've done all the tests, but have you thought that maybe you might be depressed? And then all the alarm bells go on and a man says, no, I'm strong, I can handle this, I know how to deal with issues, there is no way I'd be depressed. I'm a man, I can handle this. Strong men have depression. I once heard someone say that depression can actually show up in men, in their bodies, before their head actually knows what's happening. So when you start noticing sudden body aches and pains and things that you didn't expect to feel, um, and that could be a sign of depression. So take it seriously. And if your doctor says that it, that's what it is, then that's what it is. Another symptom is numbness. And when numbness occurs, someone shuts down. I've heard some men describe this numbness as, as being, um, as a feeling of emptiness and lack of joy and darkness. And what normally happens when they feel this numbness or this emptiness or this lack of feeling, um, what usually happens sometimes is that they shut down. There are some men who believe that numbness is a good thing because it provides you with the strength that you need to be able to deal with the daily blows, um, the daily hassles, the daily um, things that keep challenging you as a man. And some people believe that it's their way of shielding themselves from all this drama that could come into their lives. But this numbness is not always a good thing. This kind of numbness is irritating to the person who is experiencing it because they want to feel something but they can't feel they want to feel a certain sense of joy when something joyful is happening around them but they just don't have it in them to feel it and it's not their fault that they can't they just can't pull it out of where it's supposed to be pulled out from i don't know where it's pulled out from but it's a different kind of numb it's not a good numb it's not the numb that protects you from the haters and the nonsense it's a numb that doesn't allow you to fully give yourself to a, an event or a feeling or an emotion. When someone is feeling numb, it affects different areas of their lives. It affects how, for example, your team. Maybe you support a particular team, but when they have a win, you need some drinks to be able to feel that joy that they've won. Um, to hook up with your girlfriend or a wife or whoever it is, as a man, you want to be able to feel whatever feelings there, but you just don't have it in you to engage in anything so because you're feeling numb you're just not interested in making the move that's what numbness impacts it impacts your intimacy it impacts your joy of sports your joy of your hobbies that's what numbness is another symptom is depression undercover for this kind of depression someone has learned to effectively wear a mask when someone looks at you you look put together you are successful, you have everything um, aligned, you're always happy, you're always cracking jokes. But deep down, you're depressed. And when someone feels this undercover depression, even when they hit their targets at work, or they hit their goals, or they get something new, or they get a new car, a new house, um, they don't experience the kind of joy that sh they should ideally feel. And that's because depression is in the way. Please keep in mind, dear men, that it takes cojones to ask for help. It takes guts to be the man that you want to be, to say, I need help. That's where your strength comes from. Your strength doesn't come from hiding what you're feeling. Your strength comes from admitting that you need some help. Silent suffering does not make you more heroic. Silent suffering does not make you more male. Seek the help you need so that you can live life to the fullest. Seek the help you need. I hope that this helps to make you understand that there is strength in seeking help and that you or the person you're watching this for um, or whoever you share it with, understands that it's up to them to take their mental health into their own hands the same way that they do their physical health. And it's time to step up, take control, because depression is treatable. It really is. So seek the help. Thank you so much for watching. 
I'm hoping you got something from this and um, keep on watching the others when they come through. Bye!